Hi, this is Tomas from the 3D Applications team. In this tutorial, you will learn how to analyze and characterize a pore space. First, you will learn how to prepare data prior to the pore analysis. Then, you will learn how to generate and analyze a pore network model. The ceramic data used for this tutorial is a courtesy of Zellwerk GmbH. In the first section, we will prepare the data to separate the void and the solid face of the ceramic. For this, load the file data, tutorials, pnm, sponsram.am and display it using the volume rendering module. Set the color map port max to 4590 to have a better rendering. Separate the void of the material by using an auto thresholding module. Set the type port to auto threshold low. This will create two outputs, sponsram.info and sponsram.labels. Apply an access connectivity module on sponsram.labels. Select the neighborhood of 26 voxels in the neighborhood port if it is not already selected. This module allows keeping only the connected porosity of the sample. Compute the connected porosity versus the total porosity by using a volume fraction module connected to the output of the access connectivity module and one connected to the output of the auto thresholding module respectively. This example reports 51.35% of connected porosity for a total porosity of 54.72%. To visualize the connected porosity versus the unconnected porosity, attach a subtract image module to the output of the auto thresholding module and to the output of the access connectivity module. This will create a grayscale module representing the unconnected porosity. Attach a volume rendering to this data and use the seismic color map. This color map will colorize in blue the data at 0, which is the connected porosity, and in red the data at 1, which is the unconnected porosity. Setting the opacity to 0 0.2 allows for a better visualization of the solid phase. Apply a separate objects module on the output of the access connectivity module. Set the marker extend port value to 2 and the output type port to connected object. In this example, we keep the default method, which is chamfer conservative, since the pores are mostly spherical. Hide the previous volume rendering and display the new result by creating another volume rendering module and setting the opacity to 0 0.04. This will show the separated pore space. In the next section, we will generate and analyze the pore network. Generate a pore network model using the Generate Pore Network Model module. Set the input to the separated and labeled pore space. You can also turn on the Generate Property switch to generate the absolute permeability, tortuosity, total flow rate per second, and flow rate per second for each throat. This last one will be added in the poor network model generated by the module, whereas the others will be available in a dedicated spreadsheet. Those properties are available since the 9.4 release of Aviso and the 6.4 release of Amira. We will turn off the Generate Property switch for this tutorial. Hit the Apply button. Create a poor network model view on the new network and hide the volume rendering module linked to the separated data. Adjust the poor network model view parameters to pore scale being equivalent radius. Pore scale factor being 0.67, pore coloring being volume, pore color map maximum value being 0.7,
throat scale being channel length and throat scale factor being 0 0.02. You can now visualize the network in the original data. The network code can be displayed as a spreadsheet in the table panel by clicking Show of any poor network model. The poor network model spreadsheet has two tabs, one for pores and one for throats. When displaying the poor network model with a poor network model view and displaying the spreadsheet at the same time in the table view, it is possible to highlight the pores or the throats that are selected in the table from the pores table or the throats table. Select pores in the table by left-clicking on one or several lines. The corresponding pores will be highlighted in red in the 3D view. The generated pore network model can be used to plot statistics of the pore space. Attaching a histogram module, for example, with a maximum range of 0.1, the table being pores and the data channel being volume, gives you a pore volume histogram. It is also possible to plot the pore size distribution of the sample using the distribution analysis module. An example would be plotting the equivalent radius versus cumulated pore volume within a bin. Therefore, attach a distribution analysis module to the generated pore network model, set the property and x parameter to equivalent radius, the property in y to volume, the range from 0 to 0.7, and the number of bins to 20 and click Apply. Attach a plot spreadsheet module to the result and set the export to Table 1 Equivalent Radius, Y to Table 1 Sum Volume and check the Show Marker Line checkbox. Clicking Show in the plot port will generate a plot which shows that the majority of the pore space is filled by big pores, but the predominant small pores have a radius around 0.15. It is also possible to filter the data to keep only pores with volumes greater than 0.02 for example. Create a pore network model filter module on the generated pore network model and then add volume greater than 0 0.02 in the filter port by double clicking on volume and typing in the rest. You can visualize the filtered network by changing the data port of the poor network model view and setting it to the new network. The final analysis that I want to show in this tutorial is how to compute the intersection percentage of the pores for the filtered network. Create a pore intersection module on the last result and connect the result of the separate objects module to the binary image port. The module will output a new pore network code including an intersection column that represents the percentage of intersection with the real pore space. As a summary, in this tutorial you should have learned how to prepare data for doing a pore network analysis and then generating and analyzing the pore network. Goodbye and thank you for viewing this tutorial.